new cannon again we've shot the cannon before but uh, uh, this is when it's all painted pretty and we are going to be aiming for an area up there you see a oh man tight on the, there we go right center you see a white spot that's actually a previous hit where it hit high we're aiming at the dark spot right below that that's where we're going to be aiming We punch the powder bag. Okay, typically we use a friction primer, but for filming purposes, we want to use this fuse. We've got no idea how fast or slow it may be. So, I'm going to check the site. Are you, uh, at the same spot? Yeah, just below that big white spot up there. You see where they're shooting, Jennifer? Yeah. That dark rock that looks kind of pointy. That's where we're aiming. Okay, everybody ready? We're ready. Fire and hole. Say it's pretty slow fuse. Oh, not bad. Isn't that the impact just below the dark spot? This has been pulling the cup right out. <laughs> That's the way the tinfoil comes out of this thing. I love this reduced chamber thing. I think it works really well. Yeah. I didn't notice that the if the cannon came back at all. It just it doesn't. This carriage is so heavy; it just barely even moves. Okay. Next load. I'll grab it. You want it. <laughs> What do you need? Uh, muzzle left. Quite a bit actually. I've moved along. Okay, okay right, right there. Okay. Again, our powder charge wrapped three times in tin foil. People like those YouTube names go, does he only have three shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, he's got about ten, but they're all the same. Well, you wear camo. They can't tell if they're dirty. You got that ring set. 
do you know your address? Yeah. So That's what that feet. rings for. Tells me when the powder bag is in the, in the chamber. This gun has a reduced powder chamber. We're shooting patched concrete balls. It's a wet patch. Why you do that? See the ball in there to keep the pressure in. Okay. Scalpel. Camera. Come on. Okay, fire and hole. Fire and hole. Same place you're aiming. Yeah, that was high. I went, I went too much. That one, I actually could see that one kind of curve. It kind of, yeah, that's what I thought. Like that. Maybe it had a, a light spot on the ball. Concrete balls are not the most exacting thing you'll ever see. Anyway, there's the, the cannon. It's the same one that's in my previous videos. It's just all finished now and painted. And those steel wheels were a bugger. I got more time in those than I have in the whole rest of the carriage. I built the carriage and I bought the barrel. Bought the barrel from an old warehouse down in San Francisco. Sitting right next to the bay. Hey Lance, would you show how the lids open up? The storage containers in the trail? They're two separate okay. boxes. There's a divider in there that keeps the two compartments apart. There's the boon dog who didn't even hardly get scared. We had him in the house because we didn't want to blow his eardrums out, but he did fine. Uh, this carriage is outstanding. Everything's so tight, it really came out good. Best one I ever built. Uh, it's more luck than, than skill on my part getting this thing this right, but it just it really seemed like I wanted to go together. There are the tools. See, I got a more traditional looking rammer, but I prefer the PVC safety rammer in case you have a, any kind of a problem. You don't end up cartwheeling downrange. Again, this is a 4.9 inch gun. We shoot, uh, uh, Balls made out of Dayton 1107 Advantage Grout, and uh, we've sh shot them out of a different cannon, not out of this one, but we shot them at where they went through a three-foot juniper tree. We picked them up and shot them again. They're that tough, and I should call Dayton and tell how good their grout is. They weigh about five or six pounds. That's the, uh, the fact that this carriage doesn't have a split trunnion cap is the thing that makes everything so solid. 
I put an indicator on the barrel and there's less play side to side in this barrel than there is in the headstock of my lathe. There's less than a thousandth of an inch play side to side. It's just, it, it just really worked great. And, but yet it's smooth. Lift it up and down for a length. It's just smooth as glass coming up and down. There's about 60 pounds of uh, what they call preponderance on the, that's weight on the back of the cannon on that, on that elevation screw. And uh, the only thing I'd do different is I'll never build steel wheels again. I didn't build these wheels, I just kind of modified them and oh man, there's a lot of work making those things look right. But this cannon's going to spend a lot of time outside and the wood wheels just do not hold up in the Central Oregon climate. So, 